guys, it's Kem Kemal and it's Kemba in case you were curious. Thank you for joining me for another video and if you're the welcome. Y'all, I've been struggling. If you haven't, the life update video I posted, what, two months ago? I'm still trying to get back to my regularly filming schedule. Um, So bear with me, bear with me. We're back and we're gonna get through some more of this stash. Today we are covering my co-washes and my shampoos. Yes, um, and as you guys can see, I took the co-washes off because we're gonna do those first. But y'all, this shampoo, like I, I always thought I barely have any shampoos. And then I'm, I put them all together and look at this. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is after I went through the ones that I didn't want anymore and did the giveaway and all that. And I still have this many. So we're going to get through it. Um, this video is probably already long enough because look at this. So we're just going to get started, okay? The first co-wash I have is the Cometrian Naturals Natural Hair Moisturizer Weekly Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner featuring aloe vera and pomegranate and babasu oil. This has such pretty packaging. Um, I did the collaboration with them last year. I think it might have been my first paid collaboration. So shout out to Community and Naturals. Always will have a special place in my heart. Um, I haven't used this too much, but I do want to get back into it. Um, I have been co-washing a little bit more frequently now. My favorite at this point, right, like right now, is the papaya one from Eden Body Works. But I have other co-washes, so I need to get into them. So yes, I, let me know if you, whatever products you see that you want a video on or brands or whatever, let me know so I can push them to the top of the list. Next, I have the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. It cleanses and conditions. It's 16 ounces and it's part of the Coconut Shea line. Guys, I don't even know if I've touched this. Okay, so I have used this before. We will see how much of this we get through. This is going to have to be like a project. Like I have to purposely use this as my co-wash and pre-poo like every week to get anything, like to get anywhere near finished. But we're going to work at it. Next is the Demonaise Organics Hibiscus and Aloe Cleansing Co-Wash. I love Demonaise Organics. If you guys haven't seen my videos on them, please check them out. She's such a great owner. Her products are amazing. It's black women, black woman owned. Um, and yeah, so I absolutely love this. I was a brand ambassador for this brand. I think I still have a coupon code that you can use. So if you are interested at all in Demonaise Organics, check them out. Next is technically a shampoo, but I'm putting it with a co-wash section just because of how it's shaped and the way it performs. Um, this is the Pretty Fizzy's Pineapple Whipped Shampoo. Here it is. It smells amazing. It smells delicious, just like fresh pineapples. Amazing. Um, from what I remember, it worked well. I've only used this one time and I made a video on it. So if you're interested, you can look at that. But like, I haven't picked it up since and I didn't feel like giving it away. I don't know why, probably because of the smell. But, you know, if you want me to revisit this, let me know. And my last co-wash is the Negus Banda Curl Staple Buttercream Hair Cleanser with Ambunu and Green Plants. It's 12 ounces. Got this Black Friday. I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm going to try to use my products that I got last Black Friday before I purchase more Black Friday products this year. We're going to see how I do. I probably won't do it and I will probably still buy stuff for Black Friday, but I'm going to try to at least try everything. But yeah. I heard this isn't one of their popular products, so I got it and hopefully it works for me as well. Okay guys, so that was the short section of this video. I'm about to take all these shampoos off the shelf and we're gonna go through them one by one. So, oh, get, give me a minute. All right guys, I finally got all these shampoos off the shelf. 
Um, and this is, we're just gonna get started. Um, okay, so I'm going, I'm trying to find a way to organize these. I'm probably gonna do it by applicator tip type thing. Um, we're just gonna see how that works, okay? So, the first shampoo I have is the Coco Plums Beauty Black Castor Shampoo. I have a video of this on my YouTube channel, so check it out if you're interested. It smells amazing, and it a little bit goes a long way. I've used this, I think, maybe three or four times, and it's still, like, full. <laughs> Next is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. Uh, shout out to Urban Fab Curl for putting me on. We did a collab over a year ago, maybe two years ago. I can't remember how long ago it was. Um, time just kind of blends together for me. But we did a video and that's where I tried this product and I love it. I need to get back to it. This is another product that a little bit goes a long way. Uh, but it is very inexpensive and it works really well. Next, I have the Sugar Puff Beauty Gentle Creamy Cleanser. This is a big boy. I've only used it one time, I think, and I use it in a video. Um, I need to get back into it, try it again. So, like, it's getting towards the end of the year. I need to figure out what my favorite products are, so I have to go back to the ones that I've tried this year. Um, and I did, I do remember liking this product, so I need to try it again. Here is a product that I got for Black Friday. Haven't opened, haven't used. It is the Chocolate and Hibiscus Sorrel shampoo from borrowed from the island yeah so i need to also get in to this sometime soon okay so next i'm going to do the ones with the applicator tip on them so first we have the 4c your beauty um crunchy berries cereal box this smells like what are those fruity pebbles? I think maybe or some of the tricks. No, the trick cereal. And sorry for the noise. Mia is playing with her toys. Um, it smells like tricks. I believe that's what the cereal is. Really fruity, nice. You guys know I love a fruity scent, so I really like this. And I'm not sure, but I have a code for for C or Beauty. I don't know if it still works or not. Next is the. Kennedy's Essentials Black Soap Cleanser. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I have a video using that Crunchy Berry Shampoo. Um, I have a video using this Kennedy's Essential Black Soap Cleanser as well, and I did enjoy it. I need to try it again, though. Oh, I also have a Kennedy's Essential Code down below. Next is the Earthborn Organics Curl Aloe Curl Cleanser. I have a video on this. Um, I think I enjoyed it. Um, I'm like halfway done with it, which is saying a lot for a shampoo. So um, I'll just be continuing to use this. Next is the Entwine Get Clarity Scalp and Hair Cleanser. I've worked with Entwine maybe four or five times and every time I believe I've used this shampoo and I've used the shampoo without a campaign and I just really like it. It tingles my scalp, it gets my hair super clean, but it leaves it very soft and defined. This is this is a top tier shampoo. Top tier. Next is the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse Castor and Aniseed Oil um, Shampoo. I believe I really liked this one. I have two Camille Rose shampoos now, but this is one that I really, really like. So I probably should put it in the front and put this other one behind it. And it is the Camille Rose, the Recipe for Beauty Black Castor Oil and Chebe Cleanse Invigorating Scalp Treatment Shampoo. This one stripped the heck out of my hair, so I will only use it when my hair has to be stripped. Like after weeks of not washing. So next, we are getting into 
the pumps, like the pump shampoos. But before we do that, I need to go feed my dog. I'll be right back. Okay guys, excuse my dog eating in the background, but I'm trying to get this video done because I have an appointment soon. So I'm trying to get finished with this. So now we're gonna do all of my pump shampoos. First is the Blackberry Naturals Rose Water and Aloe Revitalizing Shampoo. I have a video. I have this on Instagram, I think. I don't I don't know if I've used this on YouTube. I don't think so. But I do have um, sponsored content with this and the matching deep conditioner that I used up already with my last empties video. Um, but yes, so you guys can see this on Instagram, sorry. But if you want to see how it works, I can most definitely bring it to YouTube for you guys. Next, I have the Liens Beauty um, Moisturizing Shampoo infused with organic avocado and rosemary oil. Um, I, ha I definitely have a video of this on my channel and it was sponsored. So shout out to Liens Beauty and shout out to everybody else who has sponsored me in the past. I'm like, I don't think you guys realize how super and truly grateful I am for all the brands that have wanted to work with me in the past currently and in the future next is the pure aloe vera shampoo from curl mix it's clarifying and it's a lemon cream fragrance this i just used in a video um my episode three of my mix match mondays i used this shampoo so make sure you check it out spoiler alert spoiler alert i really like it this was also from sponsored content that video that I just posted wasn't sponsored, but I have had sponsored content from Chromix previously. Next is the Formulate Shampoo. Um, I really didn't want to keep this because I don't know, like, I know it was supposed to be formulated for me and it might have been, but like, for some reason it didn't excite me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I thought about it this one should probably go in for this this is another one of the you know you build your own type of products this is from function of beauty this is my function of beauty shampoo and the scent peach i honestly just use these for my wigs now i don't really use it on my hair even though it did really work very well on my hair from what i can remember it's just a really strong peach scent and i like strong scents especially in my wigs because you know wigs tend to take scents of you know factories and stuff like that so i just prefer to have my strong scented peach on my wigs just to keep them smelling really nice and finally i have this bella curls moisturizing and nourishing shampoo it cleanses softens and hydrates curls it has coconut and honey in it um i haven't tried this 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 was not a black friday purchase but it has been a while since I've had it and have not tried it. Okay. Now we're getting into just like the regular tops. Um, first, we're going to go with Corzin. Um, this is their Milk and Honey. Milk and Manuka Honey Moisturizing Shampoo. I have sponsored content from this on Instagram, but I do think I'm going to make a YouTube video using these products sometime soon because I like to show love to brands that show me love and support me and my brand as well. So I definitely want to get these on my channel. Next is you. Yu Hai, Yu Hai, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, it's their moisturizing sulfate free shampoo um, infused with baobab fruit. They also sponsored some content for me on Instagram and they sent me like all of their hair products. So, this is one of the products I haven't tried yet, um, but I will be sometime making it in one of my wash day, either a mix and match or like a regular wash day video. Because I really, I'm really trying to see what this product's about because I really liked their styling products. Next is my Kinky Tresses Avocado Infusion Sulfate Free Moisturizing Shampoo. 
and y'all know how I feel about Kinky Tresses. If you don't, I have plenty of videos. I believe I still have a coupon code for them as well. So if you're interested in Kinky, kinky Tresses um, and you are ready to try them, I have a code down below. Hopefully it still works. Next is the She Scented Papaya Scalp Renewing Shampoo. Um, all I remember is that this smells nice, but it also reminds me of dish detergents. So, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this, but we will see. Maybe I need to try it again, just to see how I feel about it. But it, it is in a YouTube video. Next is the Leanne's Beauty Intensive Hydration Shampoo. This also is in a video on my channel. I have two separate wash day videos using Leanne's Beauty products, so yes. But I really like every product I've tried from Leanne's Beauty, I really enjoy, so shout out to that brand. Um, and shout out to them for sponsoring content on all platforms. I truly appreciate them. They also have skincare products that are bomb. I used the face wash today and I used the, um, their lotion, their face cream like daily. Love everything I've tried from Leanne's Beauty. Like, love it. Next is the KRI Hair Care Low Lather Moisturizing Shampoo. Oh, I don't think I have this on my YouTube channel, but I do have it from Instagram. It was sponsored content, so shout out to KRI Hair Care. I loved working with Kay. She is amazing. She's the sweetest. She has such a bright presence, and she is literally just so nice and pleasant to work with. Um, but I really liked this. It is low lather. It is very moisturizing. Her products are definitely moisturizing. You do not have to worry about that. Um, and I do have a coupon code below for KRI Hair Care as well. I could definitely check them out. The link is in my description box, um, in my coupon code section. Next, I have the Demonet's Organics Hydrate Me Shampoo. It's peppermint fragrance. Y'all, I think I've used this shampoo like three times. And it's still at the very top. Like, it's gonna take me forever. It looks like honey. It's a good shampoo. Like I said, I love Demonet's products. I have a coupon code for them down below. Next, I have the Healthy Mop in Hair <laughs> um, Deep Cleansing Hair Bath. It's a scalp deep hair and scalp detox. Um. I don't really remember this product. I used it some months back. I have a video on it, I'm gonna check it out. But I'm pretty sure I liked it. Like, I'm pretty sure I needed like a deep cleanse that day. This gave me a deep cleanse. So shout out to Healthy Mup in Hair. <laughs> they also sponsor some of my content on, on Instagram. Is the Mish Beauty Peaches and Cream Moisturizing and Cleansing Shampoo. This was in my favorites video. This was in, I think, two different YouTube videos, maybe. I don't, I can't remember. But I love this stuff. Okay, so those are all of my regularly shaped products. Now we're getting into the other ones. I have a few other ones. <laughs> First, I have the Curl Smith Scalp Recipes Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. This was from a collaboration I did with Curl Smith, um, and I think I really like this for like my super cleansing days. Next, I have the Coco Bella Natural Quench Moisturizing Cleanser with Apple Cider Vinegar. This was also sponsored content, I believe. Yes, I have a wash and style with these products on my YouTube channel, so check that out if you're interested in this product. I love working with Coco Bella Natural. Their products work really well for my hair, and their um, triple threat quench treatment, what was it, leave-in? I don't know, but that product was amazing. Amazing, and for Blackberry, I might have to get it again. 
I might have to get that again because that product was outstanding. This shampoo is gonna last me a while, just like most shampoos, so I don't plan on buying it anytime soon. And it's also very, very cleansing, almost to the point of stripping, but I didn't I did expect that since it does have apple cider vinegar in it. Next is the Start Fresh Cleansing Start Fresh Cleansing Shampoo from Debutant Beauty. I love the packaging. The neutral colors with like the little pop of pink and green. Love the packaging so much. And I also really like this product. They did some sponsored content for me on Instagram. Um, and I actually think I will be working with them again soon. So we love that for us. And I love these products. Um, I used the deep conditioner in one of in my um episode three of my Mix Match Mondays, and I plan to bring you guys this shampoo and their leave-in sometime soon as well. I also have a coupon code for this, I believe, so I need to I need to add that down below so you guys can get into it. Next, I have the Sienna Naturals Happy Shampoo Moisture Rich Foaming Cleanser. Haven't tried this yet. Um, I saw this pack in Target and I just decided I wanted to try their products because I hear really good things about this happy shampoo and my girl Curls with Kia did some some content with Sienna Naturals and it made me want to try them so shout out to Curls with Kia on Instagram and Vibing with Kia TV on YouTube for influencing me <laughs> that's also my sis y'all love her but um two more products I have the Beauty Nest by AF Shampoo Bar with Moringa and Chebe. I really like this. I did some sponsored content with Beauty Nest on Instagram as well. Most of my sponsored content is Beauty Nest. I wish more brands would sponsor YouTube videos, but I understand Instagram is where the money's at. So we just gotta roll with it. And the last one we have is the Me Joy Naturals Claire Clay Ready Deep Cleansing Shampoo Bar. Haven't tried this yet, obviously, and I'm curious to see how it works. Um, I do want to mention this one product, which is the Nature's Little Secret Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo made with cucumber juice. Um, I love the shampoo, love it, but I've had it so long. And I got rid of all my other Nature's Little Secret products because I've had them for so long and the scents are starting not to scent properly. So I recently smelled this one and I'm like, this one probably shouldn't need, it needs to go as well, unfortunately. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me to seeing all of my cleansing products. Next, we're getting into our conditioners. And girl, that's cool. <laughs> We're gonna do leave-in conditioners and then our rinse out and deep condition. I don't know. This is gonna have to be at least two different videos, but yes, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a cousin to tell a cousin. Follow me on Instagram, link is in the description box. Um, and you can also check the description box for all these coupon codes that I mentioned, um, you just shop on. Or if you want to save till Black Friday, I completely understand because that's what your girl is doing. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.